Hey guys, what's up? So my SKR 1.3 just came in. So came from China and SKR 1.3. If you can see that, so what's up? this is exactly how it came. All right. Up here, this thing is brand new. It just came out. I mean, I just saw this a couple weeks ago on uh, Amazon. So this is actually an improvement of the 1.1 board, which I have here. So this is the 1.1 uh, board, and this is the new 1.3 board. <laughs> what is this? Oh, rubber ducky. All right. Big tree, yeah, yeah. I made sure I ordered it right from the actual the people that made it. You know, like I know Winbot on Amazon, Winbot, and a couple different King Print. They sold their own versions, but I bought it right from the actual manufacturer. Big tree. All right, let's see the things. Got a USB cable. All right. So okay, cool. They come with jumpers. Let's see here. Side by side. Okay, the extra jumper it looks like. If you can see them both in, I'm gonna zoom in a little bit. There we go. Alright, so they look almost nearly identical. I actually I currently have the TMC 2208 drivers on this thing. So pretty much identical. Um, and the reason why <coughs> sorry. I got this one is this newer board supposedly can communicate directly with uh, the driver directly via you don't have to actually run the external jumper wires the stepper drivers over you should be able to actually it should be able to communicate directly from the, the, the processor to the actual stepper without external jumpers and also for me this little three pin servo connector right there that's for the BL touch they actually did they dedicated a, a thing for the uh, BL touch so one one port the, the three pin connector on the BL touch would go there and the two pin would go to your uh, your Z stop also um, two like car style uh, fuses which is cool um, but I think it looks pretty much exactly the same besides that same processor um, all right, I gotta, I gotta set these jumpers and make sure they're set for uh, 2208 uh, Trinamic 2208 uh, UART mode. So I will do that. Um, there's actually way better documentation for this 1.3 board than the 1.1 board. So I'm actually gonna move these. I'm gonna set the jumpers, and I'll be back, and we'll get this thing fired up. Alright, so I moved the jumpers over here. So these were over here, but now they're over here. And here. And this should be for the TMC 2208. Alright, so now I gotta move these drivers over. Hopefully that won't be too hot. Uh, it's gonna be probably hard. Okay, not that bad. Right, I, won't, I won't have you guys suffer through that. Alright, back here. And I had a user ask one of the guys in one of my comments actually wanted to know if the uh, TFTP32 would actually work with this system. Uh, since there's no uh, firmware in there right now, it's probably not going to, but I move over my power real fast. Touch in. Let's see what we got going here. Got some lights. So I'm assuming because the SD card actually already has a, a binary file for Smoothieware, it'd be booting up uh, Smoothieware. Since I haven't touched it yet. Okay. So the big question is for one of the users that commented in one of my other videos, will the TFT32 actually work with this display? So there is actually a dedicated serial port. On this motherboard. Hold on one second. Alright, so here is the big question. So, this is actually a built on serial port on the motherboard. 
uh, serial and it's providing power to this segment here. So, so you actually have two serial ports. You have your USB to RS-232 converter, which is built on the motherboard that allows you to communicate with the processor. But then you have a direct serial port, and there's no converter that's communicating with the processor. Let's see here. Yeah, I'm pretty familiar with RS-232. I've been programming network gear for a long, long time. Rap, rap. All right, so that's the answer to that question. Yes, it does power the display. And this is really just a mini computer, and it allows you to actually do like uh, G-code commands at your motherboard. But it communicates directly via serial. So, all right. But actually, if you watch any of my other videos, you know that I'm upgrading my OctoPrint with a 7-inch touchscreen. So, this actually eventually will probably be used in my other printer bot. So, I'm going to be using this on the 1.1 uh, .1 board for my old printer bot. So right there. All right. So. I need to... Alright, so that's cool. I mean, like I said, it was a cheap board, 22 bucks. Could took a couple weeks to get here. Um, yes, it's a very addictive hobby. Sorry, motorcycle going by. Yeah, so I have three boards here. So this one I'm probably not going to use. I, it was less than 20 bucks. It's kind of cool to play with. Um, I did actually get more than 1.1.9 on here. This one I actually have Marlin 2.0 on, the 1.3, 1.1 board. But, like I said, the, the, the key here, and the and the reason why this one is so much nicer than the 1.1 .1 is that dedicated server port, BL touch, and then direct communication. So I can control these these steppers via software, you know, control the actual, like, functions and stuff. Uh, whereas before, you'd actually have to run, like, a little, you know... If I was going to do that on this board, I'd actually have to, I'd have to uh, solder on headers to this thing here. Or, and run like little jumper pins, you know, to be able to control the stepper. But I'm not going to do that on this board. This is going to go on my printer bot. And um, I'm just going to have it in standalone mode. So, but this will go, this, this is going to go on my larger printer. And, uh, but yeah, uh, upcoming videos, I'm going to get Marlin 2.0 on this thing. And, uh, yeah, there's already a branch already for uh, this this device. There's already a, a pins.h file, boards.h file, pins defined, and uh, you know, so I should be able to get this going with the Marlin 2.0 pretty easily. All right, guys, cool. Um, just came in, and I have other uh, products coming in. I have, uh, yeah, I'm working on my uh, my 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 touchscreen, my OctoPrint 7 inch touchscreen. That's currently working on and we also have a uh, Bontech clone coming in from China like a $14 clone but all right that's coming up but cool yeah this is just gonna be part one of this one and part two and part three so part two will be getting the Marlin on, on there 2.0 on there and then part three will be getting my printer going all right cool